Welcome to Let's Talk Planet Happiness. Um, my name is Caroline Callow and I'm delighted to be facilitating Let's Talk today. And I'm joined by the two co-founders of Planet Happiness, Laura Music-Kansky and Dr. Paul Rogers. Um, so let me introduce them a little bit more. So Laura is the Executive Director of the Happiness Alliance, one of the first nonprofits to provide tools and resources for systems change to a well-being based economy, hurrah. She's co-author of several books, including the Happiness Policy Handbook and Happiness, Wellbeing and Sustainability, A Course in Systems Change. She's a lawyer with an MBA and certificate in environmental management and environmental law and regulation. Paul is one of Asia's most experienced tourism for development practitioners. Supporting and advising national and local tourism organizations, his focus has been on the policy and planning arena on using tourism as a vehicle for development. Completed in 1997, his PhD centered on tourism, conservation and development issues in Nepal's Mount Everest National Park. Paul is a long-term consultant with numerous international organizations beside Nepal, and he's worked extensively in Bhutan, Laos, the Greater Mekong region, as well as Myanmar, North Korea, Northwest Africa, Australia, and China. You know, I'm walking between two giants today. Um, wonderful to see you both, um, but tell me, what is Planet Happiness? So Planet Happiness is a project of the Happiness Alliance, which is a nonprofit. The Happiness Alliance has been providing tools, knowledge, and resources since 2010. We were one of the first nonprofits in the happiness movement. At its core, Planet Happiness makes use of the Happiness Index, which is an online well being survey currently available in 24 languages and other tried and tested tools of the Happiness Alliance. Yeah, we started Planet Happiness around 18 months ago as a global project to help us all comprehend and engage with the concepts of happiness and well-being. Planet Happiness has two principal aims, to highlight and strengthen the relationship between tourism development and the well-being of host communities. And secondly, to raise global awareness of how different countries around the world are engaging with this well-being agenda to build fairer, more equitable uh, and happy, happier societies and communities that if you like are, are moving beyond GDP. So how are we achieving these aims? We're doing this by partnering with destination stakeholders to deploy the Happiness Index, which is recognized by the OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, uh, to be a best practice of measuring personal well-being. You can use other terms, quality of life, happiness. The Happiness Index takes about 15 minutes to complete. And at the end, you, or survey takers, residents of destination communities, you receive your own personal happiness scorecard. And the destinations do too. The destinations that we're working with in Planet Happiness. Okay, great. So um, this is my own personal scorecard here. And as you can see, I'm very happy compared to where I'm living right now. Um, but of course, this supports my confirmation bias that I am ha indeed a happiness person. So please make happiness count. And please do complete the happiness index survey available via Planet Happiness. And we'll share the details at the end. But I'm just thinking, what does this mean? And why does this really matter? This scorecard that you've gotten, this is your own personal assessment of your well-being. And this is important because nobody is telling you how happy you are. It's you going in, taking that survey, answering those questions, and getting an idea of where you're thriving and where you're suffering in this broadly defined way of defining happiness and well-being. It's also important because communities also get their own assessment of what needs to change and what are their strengths for building that change based on where they are thriving and where they are suffering. Right, and we find this uh, interesting and we hope you will too, because the tourism industry serves as a vehicle for change and development. And it does this, it's a life-changing industry for individuals, for communities and destinations, as well as the nation state, if you like. And our happiness scorecards spark conversations that ask what can be done to strengthen individual and destination well-being. They also provide a baseline that allow destinations, governments, to measure progress and change over time and ask if they're really improving happiness and strengthening the quality of life 
through the development of tourism. In this way, and building on the work that the Happiness Alliance has been doing since 2010, Planet Happiness uses the tourism development narrative to deliver a global grassroots project that provides individuals, host communities, and the destination stakeholders with tools and resources and the approach that enable tourism to be developed to support and strengthen that individual and destination well-being. And we can measure and compare, for example, happiness and well-being across cultures and continents. The happiness scorecards will help Planet Happiness put the well-being of all living things, not just humans, at the core of conversations in the communities, which is just absolutely fantastic. OK, so we've completed our happiness index survey. We're totally on board with driving systems change to a well-being based economy to communities. What's next? Well, tourism is, or it was before the COVID pandemic, one of the world's largest industries employing more people than any other sector. So destinations seeking to position themselves at the forefront of the recovery curve need to be seen to be making clear, inclusive and informed decisions to all their stakeholders. They need to communicate with each of these stakeholder groups and individuals, residents, to promote their sites, attractions and excursions as safe and responsible with healthy and welcoming communities. They're looking to create the employment that they've lost. So the Planet Happiness approach embraces all destination stakeholders and encourages conversations between and among them. It brings the different stakeholders together and builds synergies between them to support COVID recovery processes. It does this in a way that focuses everyone's attention on designing tourism systems to support individual and destination well-being. In other words, the Planet Happiness approach supports and benefits destinations in terms of both their short and longer term goals. So as we're learning all too well right now that healthy systems are critical to reduce the number of future pandemics. And they're also critical for us to be resilient in the face of today's pandemics and what we know will be future pandemics as well as other natural and human-made disasters. So Planet Happiness, by providing these tools and these resources and these methodologies, is part of the solution. And with this, you can be also part of the solution. We're really excited to look at what we see as the next phase in the well-being movement. So we've been having conversations with the global corporate about bringing AI or artificial intelligence into the happiness and well-being movement. And probably here your alarm bells are going off and you're thinking, what is it going to do to me? It's just the opposite. How can we use AI so that you have control over your data, so that you have a better grasp and better control over how you and your community can work with the data? Our vision here is that we would use AI to really empower communities, empower individuals, as well as empower policymakers and other decision makers through dashboards, through data governance, and through other modalities. And Paul will explain a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Thanks, Laura. So as uh, Caroline mentioned at the beginning, I'm a tourism planner. I'm not an artificial intelligence expert. But one thing I've learned uh, recently looking into this is that Wikipedia pages on any topic are all put together with the support of AI and bots. So when we talk about designing local interventions, this is a form of AI that we can introduce to work collaboratively with individuals, community groups, local governments to design interventions, projects, activities, programs that are focused on supporting communities, their individual and collective well-being. So we look forward to sharing uh, updates and further news of this exciting development with you in the, in the future. Uh, please visit the website, uh, take the Happiness Index survey, and we look forward to working together to deliver what we've just described in this uh, short presentation. Great. Thank you, Laura and Paul. And remember, your happiness counts. And you can get your own assessment, like I did, of your happiness at the Planet Happiness site. Um, thanks for joining us today. Let's talk Planet Happiness. Thank Great. You. Thanks, Caroline. Thanks, guys. <laughs>